Hi everybody. It's hailing out. Well actually it was hailing. Now it appears to be snowing. What you see on the ground here occurred literally in the last about two minutes. If we look in the tree we can see the hailstones quite big. I don't want to leave the camera there because it's getting wet. And with that, it seems to have died down. Let's go back inside. So you're probably wondering about the ant war. Well, I did discover this. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Which appears to have been a uh, mini nest. You can see some exit holes. There was an exit hole here as well, or entry hole I guess. So as a precautionary measure, I, uh, I blasted that whole area. But interesting thing, okay, when was the last posting? 22nd, I believe? Well it's now the 31st of March. And um, between the 22nd and now, we have seen precisely one ant. That's it. Just one. So uh, I don't think it's too early to say, VICTORY! <laughs> Just the obligatory rosy shot to keep all the baby fans happy. So pardon me, I'm just going to take my jacket off here. It's a little chilly out there. And uh, wanted to show you the hailstorm. We get those occasionally here. Literally like a, a cloudburst of little uh, rocks of snow. Um, <laughs> I remember... Um, I was doing a video letter for my good friend Jason, who some of you will be, well, marginally familiar with anyway, because I've posted some of the intros I've done for the uh, video letters over the years. Um, and I was doing a video letter for uh, Jason, and it was just a talking segment, and uh, this was when I was living in Winnipeg, like 10 years ago, or actually more than 10 years ago. And, uh, about 14 years ago, wow. Anyway, um... I was doing a, t a talking segment, and then uh, in Winnipeg, the weather can get quite extreme. And there was this huge hailstorm that just, like, cropped up out of nowhere. And I had these huge glass windows, as opposed to, you know, plastic or tinfoil windows, <laughs> um, on, the like, the whole front area of my uh, living room. And the hail was pounding right against the windows. Well, if you're on acid, this would be really trippy, wouldn't it? Ooh. Anyway, it was pounding right against the windows as I was doing my talking segment, and I just left the camera rolling and basically did, like, you know, the reaction shot of me horrified that the um, hail was hitting the windows and um, basically just sort of filmed that. I was basically terrified that suddenly all the windows were going to shatter all over me. They didn't, fortunately, but it was pretty scary at the time. Um, at some point, I'd like to actually put that footage up so you guys can watch it and enjoy it and laugh at me. <laughs> so, okay, today, of course, is March 31st, which is actually the last day that we are living in our little quaint country home. If you take a look and see, we've got stacks of boxes. Let me just get some focus happening here. There we go. So we got stacks of boxes and we've got Rosie. Hi Rosie. Oh, oh, don't. 
I want to film. I want to film. <laughs> and uh, see my Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future toys, which I'm very proud of. I like to keep those with me because they comfort me. And uh, just the DVD screen blanket there. Uh, Rosie's watching a uh, uh, Baby Einstein DVD, which she enjoys. Let's take a little walk around here, and I'll just sort of show you where we're at. This is, of course, the Sleepy Hollow poster, which I get comments on all the time. It's actually Annetta's. Uh, she loves that movie. Um, all the lights are on here. I don't know how well we're going to see. But, uh, yeah, so here's our, here's our bathroom. Very exciting. Rosie's tub. There's me. Hi. Um, whoa, we can, like, see infinite knees in the, the mirror there. Ooh. Anyway, our bathtub and blah, blah, blah. Annetta has been uh, hard at work scrubbing this whole thing. You see the sink looks really beautiful. Um, and then down this way, we have Rosie's room. Rosie has the Haunted Mansion uh, poster there. It's actually a standee, which uh, many of you have seen before. Um, here's our little... Ah, there we go. Let there be light. Little playpen. Uh, that chair is going to be going into our living room. We used to have two of them, but we got rid of one of them. Because um, it matches our couch. Change table, which we never use because we just haven't had the room here. Little... Um, Electric heater, which has been keeping us warm throughout the winter. If we head down here, we here see our bedroom of disaster. My laser disc player. You can see in the front here. <coughs> Rosie's cranky. I'll deal with her in just a second. Here we have. Uh, well, he's under the hat. But if we move the hat, you can see. It's the Abominable Snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It's actually a cookie jar. Uh, There's my bookshelf, which normally has books on it, but it's, uh, you know, doesn't, because they're packed. Roll-Aids, because, you know, for all that late-night indigestion that we get from all the crap we eat. And uh, most of this is packed up and ready to go. So just a few things to go here. I have this thing, ever since I was a little kid, I've always had, like, fans or air cleaners or something running in my room. So I can't actually sleep anymore unless I have a fan running. So we have that fan. This is not even pointed at anything. It's just pointed at the door. I strictly have it for, uh, you know, white noise to help me sleep. In here we have our scary closet where we kept all our clothes. The thing about this closet, I just moved the curtains, is the bar is kind of wobbly. And we have another one of those big scary holes in the wall. You can begin to see why we're leaving, eh? And there's a... I think that access panel goes through to the other room. Or something. Anyway. Here's my Terminator 2 Collector's Edition DV, uh, Laserdisc set. I almost said DVD. Um, which I'll show you another time. There's a couple of sets there. This uh, case here has most of Annette's records and uh, the remainder of my Laserdisc collection. And let's head back down this way and I'm just gonna pause for a minute and see what Rosie needs and then uh, we'll see uh, we'll take it from there basically hi Rosie hi do you require some attention yeah oh okay were you worried that daddy had run away and left you all alone hmm I never leave you alone <laughs> okay We'll come back in a bit. Successfully quiet. Look at that. We've trained her to plug up her own noise hole. Amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Holding it like a pro. Okay, the little one is down for a nap. So there's one area of the house that I'm sure you've all been dying to see, because I told you about it a little while ago. And that's... The scary basement. That's one of my old VCRs down there. One of the first ever hi-fi stereo VCRs. Very cool. Things practically bulletproof. Although now all it does is chew up tapes. So let's go check out the basement. Um, there's lights around here somewhere. Anyways, we got this shelving unit here that we never use. We never really used the basement. 
Um, it was basically just used primarily for storage. So, ah, here's the lights. I say, pretending I didn't know that. So here we go. So we have the hot water tank here. Right next to that, that big tank in the back there is oil. Oil uh, for heat. And uh, we only used about a quarter tank while we were here, fortunately, which means we don't have to pay a lot to get it refilled. Um, all the stuff you see down here is actually uh, actually belongs to our landlord. Um, so in here we have just this room. This used to be, I gather, somebody used to live down here. Um, behind that poster there, there's a, a panel that's detachable, and that's where the uh, the breaker box is. Now, a couple times I flipped a breaker for whatever reason. The wiring in this place isn't the greatest, and uh, I had to go searching around for the breaker box and couldn't find it. Um, so I went outside, looked where the power went, and then uh, basically found it that way. Now, what a great basement to like film a horror movie or something. You got this bench here where a guy could be cutting up bodies and stuff like that. But most importantly, you got this like scary area underneath the floor you can't really see too well. Uh, we'll take a look in just a minute. But uh, this ledge here and this uh, cubby hole was basically our storage area. So yesterday I actually moved all the boxes out of here. I had a lot of boxes of stuff. This is where my Captain Power stuff was and uh, my old Amiga computers and things like that. And uh, there's a storage closet at uh, Annetta's grandmother's place. So we're actually, we have all our stuff over there. We, uh, Annetta and her mum moved it all over yesterday. Now, when we first moved here, there was a mattress on this ledge, which I thought was kind of strange and creepy. <laughs> but uh, if we take a look, I have to flip the night vision on. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of kind of spooky in there. Oh, uh, what do we got there? Bugs, spider webs and stuff, I guess. It's hard to get a good focus on it. But, uh, yeah, so if you take a look. Ooh, what's that? Looks like a big web or something. Yeah, so pretty spooky. So as you can see, the house is just sort of sitting on a big rock. If we look over here, you can see a little more. Which uh, actually looks like it goes right up to the base of the floor. I was actually concerned with the ants that maybe they were hiding out in the that area up there, which basically would have made them unreachable. But, uh, fortunately, they weren't. Ooh, and it's a tidy tank. Well, let's head back upstairs. I was carrying the boxes up. This is quite annoying. See this ledge here? It's just low enough that at my height, I kept whacking my head on it. It was quite annoying. So, let's head on up here. Wow, we're almost at 15 minutes. I guess I should uh, cut this off. <clears throat> so probably I'll get bored. Ah. <sighs> We would occasionally get mice as well, uh, like this door doesn't shut very well, so sometimes the mice would sneak in there and rummage around in the kitchen and then run back to the basement, so I'm sure there's still quite a few living down there, but uh, <laughs> not our problem anymore. So yeah, so anyway, the movers are coming at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so we're just finishing up the last of the packing, and Ed is actually at school, so I'm going to get to... Uh, get to some packing and uh, stuff like that and you can see also the uh, the kitchen shelves have been pretty much cleared out um, the dishes you see here is all the dishes that we have out so it takes like five minutes to clean and then uh, we used to have all our glasses and stuff on there but we don't anymore and uh, yeah so basically I got to figure out how to package up all this stuff except for the things on the bottom shelf and I just said she wanted to leave those out I don't know why, but <laughs> as the man of the house, mine is not to reason why, it is simply to obey. Alrighty, Ugh. well, I'm going to capture and edit this video and uh, put it up on, uh, on the interweb for y'all to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the little sort of tour of the place. Uh, I was talking to 
Anthony Lynch, there you go, shout out, hey Anthony, how's it going, um, and asked him, he, he mentioned that he really liked the Ant Wars videos, and I asked him what he liked about them, and he said the fact that uh, he got to see more of my house. So Anthony, if you're watching, hope you enjoyed uh, getting to see all of the house this time. Um, that's why this is kind of an extended video, I wanted to do like a, a tour before we left, to sort of have, you know, some kind of record of where we used to live. All right. So thanks for watching, folks. Um, I don't know that this is going to be the last entry from this house. May do one more, perhaps uh, you know some kind of document of the move tomorrow. Um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, sayonara.